We're currently sitting on the cusp of our third century. We can look back on all that UCL has achieved in the last 200 years, and we can see how philanthropy has been woven into many of those successes. We're so grateful to have a fantastic donor community that's powering some of the greatest research taking place at UCL, from groundbreaking at Oriel, a phenomenal new institute for eye health, to topping out at Gray's Inn Road, a world-leading centre for neurodegenerative disease research and patient access to clinical trial. Right now is an incredibly exciting time in dementia with the first disease-modifying therapies. We need an awful lot of funding to try and build our clinical research facilities, our teams, our novel therapies, and to collaborate with industry. Philanthropy is the way that we meet that gap. The Sigrid Rousing Trust have funded our neurogenetic therapies program. And as a direct result of that funding, we have developed several collaborations. And really excitingly, we are for the first time ever able to do our own phase one trials in a gene silencing treatment, looking at the real time changes in this protein. Bartlett, like all of UCL, is passionate about making a positive difference in the world. A wonderful example of how we're trying to address climate change is a project that Dr. Tristan Smith is currently uh, leading, supported by philanthropy, which is focused on decarbonizing the global shipping industry. And the research that he's doing shaped the outcome and recommendations at the International Maritime Organization for the Future of Shipping. Scholarships can unlock a future, a career, a whole life for a student. Thanks to philanthropy, we have seen the transformative power of scholarships. I got the uh, DeepMind Scholarship. It was offered to people who were from underrepresented groups. My time at UCL, I think, has molded like my life from now. But also, it's been me being able to move into a professional sphere, and therefore I've been able to build something to support my family also. Philanthropy enables us to be creative, to explore new ideas, and to achieve much wider, far-reaching impact. This year, we celebrated a decade of the Beacon Schools program led by our Innovational Holocaust Education Center, which is funded through philanthropy. Now a new donation has come through from UCL alumnus, which will enable us to work on a new program on the Kinder Transport. So it's an absolute honor for the IOE to receive not only the funding, but also the confidence and trust in our work. Our donors are made up of a, a real cross-section of individuals and organizations, alumni of the institution, trusts, foundations, who are partnering with the very best research in the world to generate results. Philanthropy is the fuel to further accelerate our outcomes and impact. I just want to say thank you to our philanthropic partners. Without you, we would not be where we are right now. And the funding that you have generously donated means that we are now able to put a pedal to the metal. We are now able to accelerate that work and get therapies that really will make a fundamental difference to every person with dementia. Thank you for supporting us, for believing in our work, and for partnering with us to build a better future. Thank you to all our donors and our staff for advancing creative and important ideas through research and education. Thank you for being part of a dynamic, exciting and really committed community here at UCL, where donors, academics, students and technicians come together to change people's lives. <laughs>